Sefeno, Ketu Susila Parukata, Fetus to Sessiana, a Preveno Casta Sessia, Teronoka, Kerry de Veno. Thank you, thank you. God, I thank you. You raise people. You raise people. You raise people. You you raise the workforce. You raise. Thank you for giving us force of labor in the spirit. That's such a dimension, Father, that they could give themselves willingly without grumbling. They lay down their lives, they lay down their flesh. They give all the serve with all their might. Father, we are first of all thanking you. Our conscripted men, written in men and free men with such amazing grace. Father, we saw the miracle of your grace during this Beacon 2022. We've seen it before, but Lord, it was immense, immeasurable, graced, measured out in men. Men with testimony. We saw men embody your grace in the area of serving you. I want to say thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Worship you, Father. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for raising them. He is amazing to my soul. Is amazing to our soul. Thank you, God, for raising them. Thank you for giving such grace. Amen. In Jesus' name. I want to reach out today to our particular division in the ministry, a particular stock, a tribe in the in the labor force of the ministry, so especially the f workforce, the, the Levites of the ministry. God gave the Levites to Aaron for the service of the tabernacle. God asked to handpick them and gave them for the work of the service. So that they might serve in the tabernacle so that Aaron will do his duty of priesthood to God without hindrance. We, I appreciated all departments in the convention, ministers as well, but uh, I am not done yet because it has not really sat well in my soul to just let it go. I, I, I just say I have to do a special video just to appreciate your, the grace of God that is in you, and at the same time to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you from my heart. Thank you from my soul for giving yourself that you are, to also let you know how important God has given you a place in the contributing to the success of the convention. Uh, before I go ahead, I just want to read a verse for you in scripture, in the book of 2 Corinthians. Read verses, but there is a verse of keynote that I will also highlight as I'm reading. 2 Corinthians chapter 8. Moreover, brethren, we do you, you to with the grace of God, bestowed on the churches of Macedonia, how that in great trial of affliction, in abundance of their joy, and their deep poverty abounded too unto the riches of lib liberality. For to their power I bear record, yea, and beyond their power they were willing of themselves, praying with us with such entreaty that we should receive the, the gift and to take upon us the fellowship of the ministering to the saints. This they did, not as we hoped, but first gave their own selves to the Lord and to us by the will of, by the will of God. This 
verses of scripture and the last one I just read captured a magnificent operation of the spirit of people who had who had grace bestowed on them but this never came to pass if they had not done something there was a grace that came to them first of all before the grace of service the grace of giving themselves to God you gave yourself to the Lord then you gave yourself to all all those who are serving in all areas I can't begin to mention them from the oceans from the protocol and the security sanitation those who took care of the foods of the people you gave yourself to God you gave yourself to the Lord and grace came upon you many of you served all night you hardly had sleep when people were sleeping you slept for few hours some maybe in some some of the days in the seven days of the convention just did little sleep but yes your body was strong because God gave you grace i just want to let you know that uh, your soul you have given for the life of people that have been so translated minister to all over the world the lord jesus appreciates you and i can tell you that the lord will reward you Paul said to the hebrew church is it for god will not forget the labor of your love i just want to say to you what has been done the lord god who see it in secret will not forget the labor of your love some of you labor with needs with pains with affliction <laughs> the lord will not forget the labor of your love your sacrifices as a reason as a sweet smell to tell to let you know that this year particularly the lord is pleased with your service i i know the lord placed this on my heart to appreciate you one more once again and once again to let you know how deeply you touch the lord you are in his remembrance i want to say thank you all of us in the ministry thank you ministers of the gospel who minister with me at the convention thank you my wife thanks you all our pastors say thanks to you and we appreciate you and the lord grace that has given you grace will never hold back to increase grace upon you and many other graces that will come for you for to you for the sake of the body and i am taking this as a preamble to first of all greet you because i will be meeting with you not too long when i come back from england there we will have a get together i get in no matter how, how enormous our number is it's going to be a time of we all getting together and we will do thanksgiving and joyfulness a season of appreciation season of fellowship in together i believe when the time is right we will send that to you from in the on the information desk thank you so much the lord loves you i want to i want to appreciate at the the head of the administrative force pastor moses uh pastor moses omo cafe pastor punle and his crew thank you i just want to say my heart goes out to you my soul loves you thank you for giving yourself and the lord will lead the work the captain of this ship will give us will give us grace and show us great sights and greater things for the for the years to come thank you love you home